Today I'm going to look at two's complement floating point binary. We're going to start off by doing 4.75, then we're going to do 0.375, then we're going to do minus 3.25. If you'd like to have a go at these first, pause the video, have a go at them, and then see if you can work through them and agree with my answers at the end. Let's start at the beginning. 4.75. First we need to find out what that is as a normal binary number. So we need a 1 under the 4, a 1 under the half, and 1 under a quarter. 0 0.5, 0 0.25, makes 0 0.75. So we've got our binary number. In base 10, 4100 would be changed into 4.1 times 10 to the 3. This is because my original number is 4100.0, and the point jumps 1, 2, 3 places to be 4.1. When we're dealing with binary numbers, we don't want to start with 4.1, 3.1, 2.1. We want to start with either 0.1 or 1.0. If the number is positive, it's 0.1. If the number is negative, it is 1.0. On our original example, we had 4.1 times 10 to the 3. As our number is 4100, which is larger than 1, it's a positive shift. If our number had been 0 0.025, and we'd shift that along to be 1.25 times 10 to the minus 2, it would have been because it's a negative shift if the number is smaller in magnitude than 1. So if we have our number, what are we going to do with it? We need to shift that decimal point across so that it starts 0.1. So to do that we jump 1, 2, 3 places to the left. So if we've done a shift of 3, we need the binary number for 3 for the shift part. I haven't explained the terminology behind floating point. The number on the left, that is called the mantissa, and the four digits on the right is called the exponent. Now usually you'll be given a certain number of digits. In this case I've got eight digits on the left, which is my mantissa, and four digits on the right, which is my exponent. To make my number into eight digits on the left, I have started writing at this point here, 0 0.1001100, which gives me my eight digits. And obviously my shift is by 0. 0, 1, 1. So that's my final answer. We'll have another try at another number. This time we're going to try 0 0.375. Now this number is smaller in magnitude than 1, therefore it's going to be a negative shift. First of all, let's try and find out what our number is in binary. 0 0.375 is a quarter, which is 0.25, plus an eighth, which is 0. 125. We have our binary number. This is a positive number, so therefore what we want to do is we want to shift the decimal point so it starts 0 0.1. Now in this case, just a shift of one place to the right. It's only a shift of one, so therefore positive one is 0, 0, 001, but of course as I said before, this number is smaller in magnitude than one, therefore it's going to be a negative shift. So, to be able to find a negative number in 2's complement, we have two quick steps. First step is we want to flip our number, so the new number becomes 1110. Then we want to add on 1, so our final total becomes 1111. That is binary for negative 1 in 2's complement. So our final answer is going to start at this point here, 0.110. I will pad the rest out with zeros because, again, we want to have our eight digits. We've only got four, so we need to add another four zeros onto the end, which is my first part, which is my mantissa. My exponent was four ones, so there's my final answer. Finally, we're going to look at the number minus 3.25. Now, although it's a negative number, the magnitude is larger than one, so it's still going to be a positive shift but it's going to be a negative number. So we'll start off by finding out our positive version of 3.25, which is obviously a 2 and a 1 to make 3, 
and a quarter is 0.25. That's our positive one. Again, if we're doing negative numbers, we need to do the two steps. We need to flip it, and then we need to add one. So if we flip our digits over, we add one mathematically, and that's our final answer. Now what we need to do is we need to try and shift the decimal point along. We move by one, two places, because we want our number to start 1.0, because it's a negative number. Now, as I said before, it's a positive shift. We are just shifting it by positive 2. There we go. So our final answer is going to start at this point here. So it's 1.0. And then we get 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. And actually, to make it 8 digits, we need an extra 0 on the end, which is fine. And obviously, for our exponent, it's still 0, 0, 1, 0. Thank you for watching. I hope that was useful.